it's gonna hit a lot of continents, a lot of world. Some part of the world that's gonna break down in pieces. It's really, really coming in Africa, so called the geographical region called Africa. When I tell you that what is coming, what is hitting the landscape of the African region now is very powerful. It was at the three years ago, at the advent of the three years ago, I told my friends that for me, for me to be able to step out from the white man religion and embrace my father, my father's theory, the philosophies of the ancient, the the Ajala, that is the ancient of my father's theory, the philosophy of the culture of my own fathers. It took me a lot of research to begin to convince my inner self that inside me does not run the blood of Jesus. There is no Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob running inside my blood or in hiding in my cell. The white people call it a cell because it's a prison that is hiding some entities. And the entity that is hiding inside me is the, the DNA of my own father and his own father and his own fathers. So what is inhabiting me is not the blood of Jesus, nor Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but it is the blood of my own ancestors. And then we are the reincarnated soul. We are the soul incarnate, highly preserved generation that have come to hit a new track in the platform of the black race. When I tell you that we are engaging the world from a different perspective, you won't believe it. It started just like a joke, spiritual awakening. A lot of men begin to step out of their so-called brainwash and biblical literacy and threw away their books and their scam jotters away. And all those, all those deceivers and thieves that are hanging on the pulpit are still there scamming the, the gullible ones. And we are we stepping out to say no. We stepping out to say we are embracing our own spirituality which is core which is fundamental and we know we are part of it it is it is hiding in us i don't need to start reading books to communicate with the, the with the ancient ones all i need is my devotion my libation my connection with the earth and that is what is supreme and ultimate when i tell you that that journey that movement is tearing up a lot of changes on that last cape called africa believe me believe me political collapse is happening economic collapse Collapse is happening. The black race is going through a challenge. Yes, it might be tough, but I want them to understand that what is happening is not for them to suffer. That is breaking a lot of bridges. It is destroying. It is destroying a lot of chains that have hold the black race ransom for many years. I'm making this short note for you to to have it at the back of your mind that the black race is getting serious liberation and powerful generals. I imagine. I mean. Powerful, spiritually minded, young armies, you know, young generals are coming up in Mali, coming up in Niger, coming up in even, it's going to come up in Nigeria. You think it's going to quench the fire of, of change and revolution in the black race? Nigeria is going to follow the tune. I'm telling you, Ghana is going to follow. Cameroon is going to follow. Mali is already dear. Guinea is blowing hot. And Congo is blowing hot. All the resources that these vagabonds are stealing from our own land are going to be retrieved back to our own cause and we are going to make good use of it. These old rugged deceivers and thieves who have been in government are going to all be buried alive. I tell you what is coming on the black race is going, see, diasporaism is not even the issue. There is a core people on ground now that is going to make the ground open for the black race in diaspora to step in and begin to do right investment and initiate the right culture and traditions. And this is going to be a new salvation race, a new salvation moment for the black man. I, I have all been praying to my ancestors and my fellow souls incarnate that we will be part of this journey. And if you are with me, don't ever fail a day to pour a libation. Pour libation. We don't pray. We are deities. We don't pray. We, we commune. We libate in the initiation process to make us the deities and gods we are. So don't fail to pay your libation to every soul that is fighting to liberate the black race. I am telling you, I am responding from America. I am immortality done and I am no, I know for sure that this dispensation will not pass by without being seen, being part of the liberation of the black race on the face of the earth in this new dimension. Salute to the military. Salute to the men of honor, salute 
to the ultimate generation that I see in Mali, in Guinea, is springing forth in Nigeria. It's going to be, there will be kill, there will be top killing, there will be massacre. But at the end, the hand of the wicked, the hand of the colonial masters will be pulled out from the black race soil and we shall have our freedom. I will be coming back to tell you more about this, but I'm telling you it is happening in the soil of the black race. I love you all. Man, keep doing the good work, man. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. It's happening.